Enough! I've had enough! Enough! Thank you, son. I'm not your son. I like you. Visit me sometime. I'll show you my books, serve you some tea, and goulash. You're a witcher, yes? I'm another of your kind recently, but he lacked courtesy. He demanded to know about the Circle of Elements. Another witcher? What can you tell me about him? Well, not much, son. He wanted about asking questions, and looking like one with a sour stomach. I'm not so interested in that. Yeah, I know, I know. He feared something, or someone. Spent most of his time near the pits where those village idiots burrow in clay. Thanks, Gramps. That helps. Odd place. Looks like these giants froze mid-motion. Must have been some time ago. Hmm. Huge trees, strange symbols, tamed beasts, even a dryad. This must be the Druid's Grove. Good night. Gwynne Blade. Gwynne Blade. What's that mean? White Wolf. You know me? Your name precedes you. You may know more than me. I remember nothing of my past. Some things are better forgotten. Nevertheless, I do feel sorry for you. Can you help? Sadly, no. Perhaps my sisters from Brokilon could help, but they are far away. Tell me about Brokilon. Brokilon is the Dryad homeland, a wilderness untouched by humans. Those surrounding Brokilon wish to claim our forests, and thus humans and dryads fight continuously along the borders. Who is winning? Our archers are matchless, but how long can we resist the brute force that rendered humans the world's rulers? So you agree with the elves and dwarves fighting for independence? Those children? They have long forgotten the struggle's meaning, craving blood and revenge, having only contempt for humans. They fail to see they begin to resemble the humans themselves. We merely defend our home, Gwynblade, and have no ambition of driving humans into the sea. Farewell. Gwynblade. Tell me about your lives. Brokilon is our home, Ithlin our lady. We live in harmony with the forest, flowing through the thickets and knowing the forest's secrets. Are you happy? Like humans, we have joys and sorrows, though our end is near. The war with the humans continues, and our numbers diminish. Tell me about Brokilon. Brokilon is the Dryad homeland, a wilderness untouched by humans. Those surrounding Brokilon wish to claim our forests and thus humans and dryads fight continuously along the borders. Who is winning? Our archers are matchless, but...
But how long can we resist the brute force that rendered humans the world's rulers? Why don't you reach a compromise with the humans? Ha! Huh. You treat concessions as weaknesses and believe acts of goodwill are traps. You will never accept our otherness. What are you doing here? Tis a secret. Though I'm taking the chance to visit this grove of old, beautiful trees. That's sad. Good night. Welcome to the Druid's Grove, traveller. Greetings. Marvellous place. I come here when I need to think, and the peacefulness helps clear my mind. Even a witcher is welcome here. One more word about my accepting my otherness and finding the home I never had and I'll cry like a baby. Sarcasm only serves to expose your inhibitions. Ooh, an elven psychoanalyst. I spent decades among humans. I find your kind as complicated as the schematics of a flail. Decades? Live that long among humans, you're bound to become more like them than you ever wanted to be. Are you speaking from experience, Monster Slayer? A sharp wit. I'm Geralt. My name's Yaven. Let's talk. Yes. I'm looking for Witcher's work. Then I'll ask you a favor. I need a letter delivered to Vizima where I'm not welcome. As a Witcher, you should find little difficulty tending to monsters on the way and avoiding trouble with the guards at the city gates. Who's the letter to? I'd be obliged if you could deliver it to Bivaldi, a dwarf living in town, and then return his reply to me. I'll do it. I'm going to Vizima anyway. Thank you. In West, in Kermit. What do you want, son? Just looking around. If you must. What do you want? Just looking around. If you must. Oh, nothing beats meat. This will be my home. Is that skull and brain human? Yes. And the meat? That too. Plates. A mug. That don't get agitated. Listen to my reasons. What reasons might a cannibal have? You look pale. Care to eat something? I'm looking for a child. The brickmaker's little boy. What are you implying? Just asking if you've seen him. Well, I don't know anything about that. 
and I don't like children. I find that hard to believe. You look pale. Can't you eat something? Why do you eat human flesh? Well, I enjoy it. It has health-giving qualities, and it tastes like chicken. A pound of human flesh provides the equivalent of... Spare me. Well, you are hostile. Well, I, I do follow certain rules. For instance, I never consume children. Truly praiseworthy. Well, no need for sarcasm. Well, occasionally I polish up a druid or a brickmaker, but I especially savour elf meat. It's aromatic, naturally infused with scents of roots and spices. What about dwarf meat? Well, veiny and stringy. I, I believed I tasted it once, but in truth I'm unsure it was dwarf meat. And to my embarrassment, I was forced to fight a drowner for it. The bloody scrap that was my share had little to identify it. Enough. But as you wish, I'll say no more. You don't deserve to live. Well, you, you can always kill me, but I'm, I'm of greater use alive. I have vast knowledge and I know this swamp well. I could be of assistance to you. Like I believe you. You'll flee as soon as I leave. No, I'm too old to run again. I'd not deceive you. You've come to the swamp on an important mission. Completing it must be of greater import than one old monster. And mark me, I hold answers to many questions. Fine. You'll live for now. Thank you. As a gesture of goodwill, I'll grant you a potion recipe. That could be useful. I'm hungry again. You look pale. Can't you eat something? Tell me about the Mage's Tower. Why does it interest you? I need to get inside. An ambitious goal. And ambition is key in life. I'm too tired to explain everything, but I like you, son. There's a book in my trunk. Read it, and you'll know what I know. Thanks, Gramps. I truly wonder if you'll succeed. What was that? Uh, nothing. nothing. If my senses don't deceive me, a storm approaches, son. <laughs> You're not making much sense. I know nothing more. It was so long ago. I'm, I'm old. I don't remember. You remember when the mage was alive? You're strong, surrounded by the light of glory. You know victory and love. Your foundation's firm, you have principles. Though a mutant, your mind and soul are no worse. Your wisdom and understanding will now be tested. <laughs> You're crazy, Gramps. Witcher, go and see Yaron Bolt, the lead woodcutter. He ought to have a job for you. He lives at the southern end of the swamp. Right, thanks. What do you want? Take me to the other side. Time is money. Made up your mind. Ready to go? I wouldn't have paid you otherwise. Take me to town.
Yes? The dock is safe now. I knew you'd do it. Here's your payment. Thanks. Yes? How's business? You think me a seller of turnips? I run businesses you can't even fathom. I see. You're confusing reflected stars for the night sky. I'm waiting for important news. Farewell. Felt like we left. I know we need a witcher to kill the sewer beast, but the butcher of Blaviken? What's the problem? I know who you are. The city guards are watching you. I'll hear no humans being slain in this town. You'd hardly be the first to know. Witty? What you want? I saw people with salamander badges in town. Get out of here, Witcher. But... We cannot speak further. Captain's orders. Not enough paper. Looking for something. Anything interesting? Shops? Taverns? There's one tavern, three gates, a market, a hospital, and dark alleys you'd best avoid. I must go. <laughs> oh, woe is me. Will no one help me? Why the grief? My husband haunts me. What do I do? Haunts you? In your bedchamber? My late husband haunts me. Tell me more. Maybe I can help. My husband died a month since, and now haunts me in my home, wailing nightly. But the worst thing is... He... I'm listening. Worst? He flies around the cemetery at night, shouting lies about me! Doubtless tongues are wagging already. Set him straight, I beg you. It will cost you 200 orins if I succeed. Oh, that's a hefty sum, profiting off someone else's misery. Well, deal with him and I'll pay. Where will I find you when I'm done? I'm here every day at noon. Why can't I collect payment when I want? Are you daft? My husband flies around ruining my reputation. I'll not be seen in the company of a killer. So long. What'll it be? Pine or oak, perhaps? An entire crypt? Let's see. Five else wide. What are you talking about? Why would you come to a grave digger? So I ask you, who will you be burying? Fear not, my prices are reasonable. I'm here for another reason. You should plan ahead. Very well. What is it you want? I'm here about the notice. Yes? I have six jugs of dog's lard. I use the lard on the caskets. <laughs> Here's your payment. Why is the cemetery shut? Because the dead refuse to rest in peace. Fear not, they stay in their graves in sunlight. Someone should tend to them, though. Perhaps someone will offer a reward, but for now, no one seems bothered. I'll deal with it when you agree to pay me. For now, farewell. Think putting a dead body to rest is easy? Do what you will. Perhaps the watch captain will reward you. Won't hurt to check. What do you need? I'm cold. My wife's a whore. my body?
Speak softly, or someone will spot us together. I've dealt with your husband. Have you proof? You didn't mention proof. I want my gold. You're depriving a widow of her pittance! Quiet down. Aren't you afraid of being seen in the company of a witcher? Damn you! Take your gold and be gone! Yes? I think you're paying for salamander pins. I'm just not sure why you would do that. You're mistaken! Why so defensive? I'm also after salamandra and can prove it. If so, bring me three pins. Then we'll talk. Seventy-five arons. Any rules? Just one. No rules apply. Right. So you in? I'm in. I'm itching to it someone. I'm saying double. I win. Choose two bottles of mandrake cordial, a golden necklace, or 150 orans. The mandrake cordials. They're yours. Yes? I have three salamander pins. Will you tell me about your secret society now? Excellent. I normally pay 20 apiece, but I'll make an exception. I'll give you 10 times that. Great, but I still want to know why you're paying bounty hunters to track down bandits. They're not good for business. Your business? All businesses. Listen, there are forces beyond your imagination at work here. Be thankful you don't know the world for what it is. Luvardin, I've heard so many high and mighty speeches that yours doesn't impress me. I don't give a shit about these forces. My only concern is reaching the Salamandra leaders and killing Azar Javed. That I'd like to see. Should you succeed, find me, and I'll reward you handsomely. And if you destroy Salamandra as a whole, I will repay you for your efforts. That won't be easy. I may come see you again, and I'll be counting on your assistance. I'll help if I can. See you later. Yes? Farewell. Anyone seeking to cross? Ah, women. Who are you? Geralt the Witcher, a friend. And we'll see. And you? Yaren, I speak for the Lumberjacks. Can we talk? Speak. Any jobs for a witcher? Despite the danger, the beasts leave us alone. So, nothing? Perhaps. For someone willing to take a risk. I'm listening. But the Begatic plant should be blooming in the swamp. I understand it's valuable. The drug it makes is. Collect some blossoms and we could both earn a little. I wade through mud, 
face danger, then we split the profit? You don't know what beggar tip looks like, nor where to sell it. Okay, let's play herbalist. Great. Beggar tip blossoms look like red orchids. Clumps grow throughout the swamp. Sell them to the ferryman. Ask those living in the swamp if you can't find any. I'll deliver the flowers to the ferryman as soon as I find them. Speak. Are you responsible for the logging? No, we scare off woodpeckers. Of course we're responsible. We're lumberjacks. Work for yourselves or someone else? We're independent, though we secure orders from merchants like Luvarden. We get weeks of work and a decent return. You the chief lumberjack? Yes. Without me, these lazy lights wouldn't know when to piss. Him with a moustache. No matter what I do, he still pisses in his boots. I see you keep a tight rein. With danger around, you need discipline. I rule with an iron fist so they can return home safely. Most will. Get along with the locals? Nothing but a bunch of deviants. The brickmakers babble about their lords and the underwater world, and the druids don't like the trees being felled. Godspeed. What is it? I seek a boy missing from the brickmaker's village. I've not seen him. The brickmakers claim you change children into dryads. Fools! Only adults are accepted here. Children would only trouble us. As for dryads, ask them yourself. I'm looking for beggar tick blossoms. We can supply the herb at a reasonable price. Talk to the man who tends the holy oak. I seek information on the mage's tower. There is power inside. Alas, it cannot be penetrated. Has anyone tried? Many. But common thieves and mages know not how to open the door. And you do? In the swamp, perhaps you've noticed old stones bearing strange symbols. They are nodes of powerful energy. Lines of energy intersect at a strange place. At the tower? Look for yourself. Thank you. Old secrets are best left alone. That tower is cursed. Know where I might find a copy of Ain so far? Ask that madman, Gramps, who collects anything he finds. Might even have that book. I'll check. Win Blade. I seek a boy. The brickmakers claim druids seized him to transform him into a dryad. Only girls can be dryads. No boys here. Just wanted to make sure. I would show you where young dryads come from, but... Yes? I wish to remain faithful to the Brocolon tradition. We only take in men to procreate and just the strong and agile. We want the girls born of their seed to inherit their father's fortitude. I've been accused of many things. But lack of physical prowess is not among them. I believe you. But the ritual requires a man to prove himself a skilled hunter. Bring me a wolf's pelt. You have proved yourself a skilled hunter. Yet one obstacle remains. What's that? Witchers are sterile. We dryads don't acknowledge intimacy without procreation. Intimacy without procreation can be good. How? Sex relieves stress, improving body and mind. Hmm. 
We dryads must be vigilant and agile to defend our home. And my body demands love. Would you like to be with me? Yes, for the day. Come. Do you know where little dryads come from? 